What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off what happened last time, uh, the French have massively responded to our incursion in North American territory and we have had a chance to intercept this force as it wandered too close to our walls. And so I think we're going to take the opportunity to destroy a French army. So for, without further ado, let's crack on. So this uh, bodes quite well uh, because it gives us a good opportunity, well, firstly to destroy uh, one army right off the bat. Secondly, we do have a good reinforcement uh, force outside of the walls of Quebec. So after this battle, we can uh, reinforce our army. One thing I... Ooh. When this game loaded in, I just want to quickly check that... Uh, Nothing. Okay, good. Nothing silly is going on. Good. Okay, so let's load up. How to stay behind? Well, full artillery stay behind. Uh, how it says move up. Let's take positions near the front. Now that's one block of infantry. That's another block of infantry. One unit of cavalry that is going to wait. They're going to wait for a good opportunity to break free of the wall. It looks like that's a prime candidate for assault. So let's start to prep some of these other, other walls for defence. I'm probably gonna, going to then move my artillery up because that would be quite a good position to uh, trap. To trap and destroy this first army, but also a second army, which may or may not arrive. There are three stacks in position, so we need to bear that in mind. You need to be back here. Oh God, the stupid right-click thing is most frustrating. And then... Probably deploy a unit here to fire into the flank. And that still leaves us with a good amount of infantry here to drop. One unit above the gate. Then we've got a couple of the units that can sit. Well, that's pretty. You're pretty damaged as well, so we might assume that we will lose this section of the wall. You guys are my reserve. Good stuff. I got my general. To be honest, you might actually be in a good. Actually, no. Don't gun. Don't go after their artillery specifically. Try go after their. Pity they focused on the wrong section of the wall. You guys focus fire the ground. Let's make sure they get in. Or at least let's give them a good opportunity to get in. We can fight for the walls, but I would prefer if they broke in. I mean, I know they are going to crack in there, um, but I'd rather I'd rather they would uh, attack us in a slightly more concentrated position. Now, to be honest, to that, to that point, I may as well attack their gunners. If I don't want them breaking in here... But it will take some time to crack in. Or to crack that section of the wall. guys are frustratingly lax or not very good at taking up positions on the walls the way they're supposed to so I've turned them up fire it will off here but these guys should with fire it will on be doing a huge amount of damage oh 
Oh, I am dumb. Fortunately, I'm not so dumb that it ruins everything. In which case, then, both of our artillery pieces work on the guns. Brings foot artillery into position to about here. They'll take some time to get established. And I'll use two units, like two units here. Make sure firing was on. So yeah, focus their artillery to make sure they don't get in. Or at the very least, it's more difficult for them to get in any other way. They will try it. But the hope is they spend most of their effort trying to get in here. Come on, how it says, knock him out. So there's the third horse guards coming in. You guys both hunker in square formation where they will get picked apart. Looks so like they are all slowly making their way over there. Also, Curacier. You guys stay where you are for now. Ah, frame rate drop, eh? Are you charging a corner over here? No, let's get ready to feed men into the, uh, the meat grinder. Does include you, my fellows. I would like my infantry to be in a good place. To knock out their uh, artillery, but I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. You guys form your line, get my artillery in there. Just they're not going to let me have a good shot at taking them out with a freebie. So it pretty much does kind of rely on our artillery doing a good job. You guys stop firing. But let's set up to knock down the lead elements. You guys should win against the 61st. That's the 95th Regiment of Foot Colonial Line. Okay, let's bring these guys along. Over here now. Unlimited my artillery. Doesn't matter if... Uh, they get charged or surprised, chiefly because they're already in position. So the light cavalry are probably going to get chopped a bit, or you know, they're probably going to get piked apart by my troops with uh, bayonets. Let's pivot this line like so. The 91st should be able to engage Fire at rank, fly by rank. How goes the artillery down? 13 men, but they're still making progress. Not to 
to be ready. Yeah, I did wonder. I'm not surprised if my men decided to march down the gate. But there we go, they're in. So they're now going to be lashed with musketry and artillery fire. Close range canister shot. Yeah. Understandable. You don't want any part of that. They're down to 12. The artillery's lost a third of their complement. Got it down to one gun firing. That'll slow down their progress. Because this is where we need the slaughter, realistically. The sooner we knock out the guns, the better, but counter battery fire can be a tricky thing. And usually, round shot is better for doing this kind of thing compared to. Uh, you know, carcass shot and so on. There we go. One unit pushed back. The native musket men auxiliary are deciding to uh, come back. Yeah, you guys should. Ah, they're engaging my grenadiers. That's not going to work. Shot coming in. Short. Down to 11. They may end up creating a breach. You back over the gatehouse. You guys stand here. You guys probably go there. So back over at the centre, they're deciding to skirmish at range, which might be a good idea, but again might not be a good idea. Could be useful to take one of these smaller units. Along here, then onto this position here to fire down. Is this coming in now? Colonial line. It's been hammered all the way round, and they're being pushed back. Native musketmen are marching in alongside. Uh, who is this? The 37th. Attempting to bayonet charge, maybe to gain entry to the house. The 90th and not having it. No one's having it really. This is a lovely little uh, cauldron of fire we've got going on here. We are setting up. Come on, 90th. Reload! I know you're a more junior regiment compared to some of ours, not like the 29th. <laughs> Veterans, heroes. Okay, they've lost all their guns. Good news. You carcass shot both of these areas actually. Just focus on carcass shotting the breach. We're not after the key is not to be after specific units, just to do an area of effect style strategy. 24th are gonna make it to our lines. Not for long though. Engage the 54th instead. Specifically target you guys into the 37th. The 37th have routed. Actually, no, bad idea. Keep attacking that section there. Okay, let's actually make some of these hearts to start to attack units that are hanging around. There we go. Now you fellows will start to get some experience. 54th, uh, almost there. 54th and the 24th were almost completely destroyed. There he goes in, doing some good damage against the 73rd and the 75th. Curious as to what these guys' strategy is. You're not going to do much sat back there now. 
you are actually continuing to engage. Alright, if that's how you feel, engage some of the infantry that are standing by. Oh, they picked one of their guns back up. Now you've abandoned your artillery. Who is that? Another native musketman auxiliary. You fall back. That's what happens when you set them to engage units. They start to run in, so you have to kind of give them a bit more uh, benefit of the doubt. You guys should win against these guys. A, the artillery support, but B, uh, you're firing from a covered position. There we go. Now you guys can run along. Okay, you're not actually going to scale the walls, though, are you? But the 29th Infantry are going to push along. Scale the walls and engage the enemy. Reload. Yeah, you should tear them apart. Waver indeed. So these guys may attempt to scale the wall, but they're put off by a handful of men firing, which is good news. The next push by the 73rd. And back they go. I want to watch the foot guards go in. Third foot guards, Royal Escosse. They've been around a long time, but it feels like they will not last. Now they're going to attempt to scale the wall. That's not going to happen. 31st of hiding, less apart from their few dead comrades. Okay, let's maybe get you guys out of there, just in case. Just in case I accidentally watch that building blow up. Come on, let's say, prove your real man. Charge a breach. Here they come. Oh, they're going to engage with, with musketry at long range. Very well. Then we will target you, and the 29th will absolutely do horrendous damage to your comrades. There they go. You don't need many muskets, but if you've got that gun firing, which we have, when this guy's in position, they open up. Good stuff. Hey. Look at these native bowmen auxiliary trying to climb up our wall. I get the colonial line. These men will be slaughtered by the 29th. Pretty sure we are witnessing the destruction of their command. The other general's bodyguard remaining. These men here. They cannot stand. Especially when can <laughs> when the uh, carcass shot drops in like that. You're going after the 38th without much success. That's a that's successful, I'd, I'd say. Pummeling with cannon, with cannon shot at point blank range. Yeah, there's not really a lot they can do about it. You will win against the Bowman. Fully upgraded line infantry isn't half bad at melee combat. Oh, 
but I might actually just speed this up um, because they're not going to do anything too offensive now and I'm not pushing out so it's just going to be the net result of uh, who can put up with this punishment the longest. I suspect I know the answer. There goes the colonial line. Come on, you fellows. Oh, they've abandoned their guns and well, they've abandoned the artillery and picked up just their muskets. Bowmen have been defeated. Let's push you guys over to this side. There we go. Final enemy has routed. Victory for our small empire. For our small colonial empire. We lost 400 men. They lost nearly 3,000. There you go. That stack has been destroyed. So let's see how that changes their overall strategy. Uh, this is the force outside the walls, so I do not want to intercept. Huh. <laughs> so they are going to allow us... Ooh, they're gonna, they want to buy grenades off us for three grand. Yes! Let's do that, Spain. You are not much of a threat to us. Improved grenades isn't a spectacularly new or exotic, exotic technology. I think it's worth doing. But the main thing is to save up, build steamships, and then uh, make sure our home territory is secure. Actually, I'm going to... I figured I'd actually mute my microphone before starting to fiddle with it. There we go. Flavio is still hiding on that island. Valletta's got the royal palace. Puerto Bello. has got a dockyard. Panama's fully upgraded. Cadiz has got a fully upgraded port. Already, I mean, you could push on the French, but this—you're he's here mainly to act as a preemptive force. Mostly, it's just infantry being recruited in New France. Let's just try and reinforce that unit to keep their high experience count. Uh, let's take some of these. Some of these are uh, lower experience units. You can you can do a lot when it comes to reinforcing. Um, just because they won't lose that much experience. It's mainly the, the, the very high experience units that start to struggle. There we go. So this weakened unit, you can join Gianmarco Biano. These men that were recruited, you join Constantino. Oh no, Constantino Bassano, he's got his army. Servo vostro. Signore. I suppose you two join the garrison. You join Gianmarco Baiano. This force marching down towards Falmouth. Demand surrender of the town. Let's repair. Replenish, because they, they, this they could send this chap east to go take Fort Nashwack. Which is a, a likely result, I would say. We've got some militia coming in. Boston would be a great target to take. But it's mainly engaging these forces in the north that's the, the main problem. But elsewhere, down here, in Guatemala, we're marching on to the Prussian territory, which they've gained from New Spain. Bogota's replenished. We do have this army down here that's a bit of a loose end, but they are mainly staying where they are because of the presence of all these enemy troops, or potentially enemy troops. Let's upgrade the lumber mill and the roads. Oh, they're not top notch, but they will be. Let's get a military academy there, then let's hop up here. Signore. I could deploy you there just to block the enemy's approach. 
you guys need cavalry. So let's get some, to represent the Anglo nature of their homeland, let's get some household cavalry. And you guys can leave the city and march east, march west, sorry. And then let's start to pick up some new troops. I suppose due to lack of budgets, we probably just want to recruit some infantry. We've taken Falmouth. And the push is on. Once I've taken Guatemala, I'd probably keep a token force here to act as a... Actually, I might even keep these guys here as a garrison. To hold off New Spain, because we do know that they are sending lots of... Well, they're capable of generating lots of troops. Let's upgrade Cuba just to stop that icon from showing up. Two turns till we get quick climb. Two decent industrial techs coming along. Good stuff. Uh, let's go check on progress here. Oh yeah, you're a naval hospital, but we do have somewhere. Do we not have the capacity to recruit? To recruit first-rate ships of the line? Oh yes, it was a... Uh, here in Gibraltar, you're saving up for the steam dry dock, which I do actually have research, don't I? No, I don't. Five turns. Then we'll build it. Then we'll see if we can actually build normal first rates. Otherwise, we'll have to resort to swamping them with stacks of fourths and ca picking them up uh, where we can. Come on, France. Yeah, they've just gone raiding. Prussia is still, still very strong in central Italy. Obviously the Ottomans declare on us, so let's try to call our allies in to help. Don't know where they're going to go. Tunis? Two armies. Off of Tunis. That army's pretty done for. So what I might do is pull back my garrison... Because I can't, I can't defend that. Well, I could. No, I've got the army inside in here. They, they can do a lot of damage to Mughal troops, to Ottoman troops. Sorry. So what? Because what do they actually have here? No, well, they got one organ gun. That's got not got a very long range. They've just got lots of troops, which is isn't bad. But we've got troops and artillery, so. You, this force here, get to Algero. Let's get them aboard ship. Swap our sixth rate with them. Drop you guys off to Anaba. Disembark. Then march them close to Tunis. So that when they attack us, A, we'll be on the defensive, and B, we can call in reinforcements pretty much immediately. Apart from that, probably just want to take these fourths and sail and just go knock out their low-tier ships. Just take them out. Obviously one flees. But we will pursue. There we go. We're both sunk. Get you back to Iran. Repair. Build an Admiral's flagship third rate to lead this little fleet. Add on a bunch of fourths to help hold the line. You need to keep you strong or as strong as possible. Don't want to spend any money here. Hop back over to America. <laughs> Gimme. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and watch you, Guatemala. There's no point trying to actually fight them. See? 
we run these guys past them? It's tempting to run them past and go for a go for a shot at Boston. Or do I just keep going? From Falmouth. Or do I just push on? It's a classical university. Oh, it won't be a modern university. Push you down to the bridge. Push you west. Yeah, and Marco Biano, you can... Actually, we can take... My fourth rate's long to protect that section of the coast. You guys... Continue your recruitment. Actually, you, can, you do need just a bit more of a... Beefing up. Let's upgrade the steam pump mine. Because then this army here will push... Um, against... Nicholas Joseph Dabney, because I think he's going to shuttle around back and forth. Siamo Do you need to be careful with these guys. They don't get too isolated and picked off by enemy forces. I I so you might have to abandon your position there just to make sure you don't leave them unprotected, because they might try to just run around. That's what the AI kind of does. You've got better roads. Let's not upgrade it to top roads just yet. Um, although I might actually just fight this battle just to just to take Boston. Really, I'm generally this is a critique of my own of my, of me uh, in this campaign because the pressure is so high in Europe. I need to keep the gas on um, elsewhere in the continent, and that does mean uh, taking Guatemala while I can, building up this garrison, shipping them north to go hit Savannah and start to attack the French from the south, or maybe even land and take Philadelphia because I really need to start well I need cash I need cash and I need a good university which ultimately speaks to maybe marching you up and assaulting Paris assault Paris capture it make peace with the French maybe okay let's pick up some Troops in Madrid. You are going to push up to take Paris. I'm curious if all I have to do is take it to unlock those technologies or if I need to own it to research those technologies. Start to recruit some elite infantry in Lisbon, ready to march over to Madrid. I do, I, I just need those new tech, those are uh, next gen tech. That's what I need because right now I don't have it. Um, anyway, so when I talk about uh, keeping the gas on, I want to take, I want to assault and take Boston. I want to assault and take Antigua. I don't want to sit here waiting for turns. I need, I need action. I need stuff to happen. I need to break their back. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time where we're going to smash into the city of Boston. Cheers, everyone.